Hi all you beautiful people and lovers of food. Today I'm busy decorating cupcakes to look like flowers. But what I wanted to do in this specific one is show you that you don't have to make your flower an exact flower. It can be an abstract flower, it can just be pretty. So I'm going to be using a weird nozzle that I found in my box and I'm just going to be winging it to see if I can make it look like a nice little flower. This is going to be part of my little cupcake decorating series where I'll show you a few nice ways to decorate your cupcakes. My name is Vivian and I am your Easy Chef. If you'd like to see how I've made my cupcake batter, I've made some magical rainbow cupcakes and the link is in the top right corner. This is a really awesome staple for your cupcake recipes and they really do turn out quite great every time. I like to use white margarine. I feel it makes the colors pop a little bit better when you are doing icing work. But if you are going to be using butter, make sure it's nice and soft so you don't get lumps in your icing. And when it comes to choosing colors, guys, this is up to you and whatever you like, what you think will work well. I've chosen these amazing colors and the colors really pop. This is a really cool little thing that I like to do before I'm piping, just so I know the consistency of my icing and that I've got my techniques down. And that's to practice on a plate. So the tip that I found in my box, it's a bit of a basket weave tip, but I'm just going with it to show you that as long as you follow the principles, you're putting petals on a cupcake, you're making it a flower. It doesn't have to be true to life. It can be up to your imagination as well. To ice these, what you want to do is you want to start on the outside and start making petals. And how I've done this, because I have this basket weave sort of texture on my nozzle, is I've made sure to make it nice and round. So I've smeared it a little bit to almost get a round edge. I'm not too worried about the inside. I want this to have this nice voluminous outside petal, if you will. And then I'm also going to, I'm going to go on every cross section of the petals to make it and build it up into a flower. So I start with a even pressure and as I get to the end, I stop the pressure and lift up quickly so that it breaks that icing off. For the little white spots, I've just done little dots. You'll see I make even pressure and then as soon as I'm done, I stop the pressure and I pull away quite quickly. That breaks the icing off quite evenly. And then I've topped it with glitter just to give it a little bit of a pop and helps highlight all these beautiful textures in the icing. I think these turned out beautiful. I think they might be a cactus flower. If you are trying this at home and your flowers aren't coming out perfect or they're not quite right, don't get discouraged. It is a practice thing. You got to get the right pressure. You got to get the right twist on your wrist and on your cupcake. And sometimes it gets confusing doing both, but don't get discouraged. You will get there. Remember, practice makes perfect. If you'd like to see how I've decorated my other cupcakes, please like and subscribe and then hit the bell icon so that you get notified when these other videos get released. Stay delicious beautiful people. Bye!